if you were talking to people in general, we, we tend to address a rather scientific crowd here, but the consumer or the person in general, uh, what would your advice be to them about how to uh, eat well for their health in terms of whole foods and that sort of thing? I think, I think everything starts with the whole foods. And I think that if you're careful in, in how you do it, I think you can do it on, it, it, people always talk about how expensive is, it is to eat right, as mm -hmm. they talk about. I think you can do it, you just have to watch. And it's going to be one of these things where it's pay me now, it's like the old oil filter commercials that used to be on TV, it's pay me now or pay me later. Either eat right and take care of yourself with exercise or you're going to end up in the health industry going to the whatever they need to do later on. I'm not saying you won't get there anyway but at least you want to try to lower your possibility mm -hmm. through a good diet. And supplements will not make up for a good diet. They're, they're good in their own right uh, helping with it. But you can't eat a really bad diet and then think that the supplements are going to really overcome all this bad stuff that you're doing. I see. So it's important. And supplements should be supplementary to That's to right. What you Hence eat. the name, you know. And uh, I don't do much with supplements as far as the research goes. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know a lot about them. Uh, I mainly would like to see us eating whole foods. I think. Uh, it's what early man did. He grazed a lot, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, lived off the land, uh, and I think this is this is how you start a good diet. When you go into the grocery store, start over by the produce, and go for the colors: the reds, the blues, the greens. Don't forget white because things like garlic, cauliflower are also very good. Mm -hmm. They contain a number of very potent uh, uh, health benefit. Uh, compounds that are beneficial to health, sulforaphanes, for example, etc. And uh, I, I think that's where you start in the grocery store. And I think the more uh, that you go for the whole foods, the least processed foods, I think the better off you are, the healthier your diet is going to be. The rats, uh, you know, how, how much better did they do? Did we make them young again? No. <laughs> That's not going to happen, not mm. with this. Uh, but we made them, say, 20% better, 25% mm -hmm. better. It's a complicated question to ask, answer because it depends on the test we were doing. It depends on the parameters of the test. Uh, what we like to talk about is statistical significance, but you have to balance that off with meaningful significance. Mm. You, know, I, you can get statistical significance out of anything. Uh, if you if you play around with the numbers mm. uh, and look, find a test that will give you statistical significance. But are these meaningful? Can you actually see it in the animal? Yeah, you can. You can see a difference in just their behavior. Mm. Just watching them, you can tell. Really? Yeah. It's that obvious? It's pretty obvious what we're seeing. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's why I say it, it, it works uh, if you're going, if you think you're going to like the old drawing of people getting in on this side of the pool and coming out young on the other. That's not what's going to happen mm -hmm. when you do this. Mm -hmm. But you'd be a little better. Uh, you may be able to function better. For a longer period of time. For a little longer period of time. Well, what, what, what we're talking about here is not longevity. It's we're quality. talking about health span. Mm -hmm. We're talking about keeping people out of nursing homes mm -hmm. and, and being able to l help them live independently as they get older. Mm -hmm. This is really what this is. Uh, that's why we talk about health span, healthy aging. Uh, if you have to live the last 20 years of your life or 15 in a nursing home and somebody has to take care of you and you're not independent anymore, that's not what we call quality of life. Mm -hmm. uh, what we're talking about is being able to stay home maybe drive or play golf or do the things you like to do, mm -hmm. arts and crafts, mm -hmm. uh, needlepoint, things like that. Or make a significant contribution to the to the community that you're living in that, and continuing that too, to do so. Sure. I mean, uh, you know, you, you got the benefit of a lifetime of experience there. Mm -hmm. uh, if somebody stay, is able to stay healthy longer, you can take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. Think about, for example, being able through nutritional methods and exercise and mm -hmm. things like this to push out the onset of Alzheimer's disease mm -hmm. or a disease like that, a dementing disease, 10 years. Think, it, think of what it would do to health care costs, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Right. 
but uh, that's the ticket is to, is to do this so the people stay independent.